to send it into total fast. I remember when I, the early oh, time no. when Vincent Kelly took this over, he came out on television with, with an action face, John Tierney. And I said to Martin after, if he got John Tierney around every house in the country, he wouldn't change the people's minds. But now, clearly, they wouldn't find it. They never come back because they get lost. 365,000 houses missing. One for every, a thousand for every day in the year. So that has solved the homeless crisis in, in, in the Europe, not to mind to say in Ireland. This is fantastic, and I'm surprised with the legacy man. Let me some legacy to Mr. Minister Kelly. My goodness, a legacy. 365,000 houses, and you, you can't account for them. Please adjourn before I walk out in disgust. I said before, you're making shame. I said before, you're making a show of Tipperary. And by God, you are. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Stephen Donnelly. There's Sir, um, th boy about it. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the for the numbers. Yeah. You, you, you. Here's, Deputy John, you next. Here's, here's where I think we are. Your number is that 271 million would be raised in revenue. I appreciate the figure you've been given for the number of eligible households. The grant is 1.3 million. It would appear that if what you're saying is that every household gets it, that, that fig the figure you've been given is, is wrong, right? It would appear that the figure, according to the CSO, is 166 million is what that would cost, right? That, that would appear to be the case, and I think we need, clar we, we need clarification, which we can't get this evening. You stated that the annual cost of the meters would be f about 41 million, and I accept